Here's the man himself, Wayne Rooney, flanked by Sons, Kai and Clay. And Everyone, it's Kara back again with another luxury home tour. Today we're taking a look inside soccer legend Wayne Rooney's jaw-dropping real estate portfolio. From his humble beginnings in Liverpool to amassing an estimated net worth of over $200 million, Wayne has certainly come a long way. He and his wife Colleen own properties across the globe, including in England, the US, and Barbados. Known for his record-breaking, gold-scoring feats for clubs like Manchester United and the England national team, Rooney's his career has afforded him and his family quite the enviable lifestyle. Join me as we take a look at Rooney's backgrounds, his illustrious playing days, and the lavish property he and his wife have amassed across the globe. But before that, let's take a quick look at the life and career of Wayne. Wayne Rooney comes from humble beginnings, having grown up in the working class area of Croxted, Liverpool. His natural talent was clear from a young age and he signed his first professional contract with hometown club Everton at just 17 years old. Rooney instantly made his mark, becoming the youngest goal scorer in Premier League history during his debut season. His meteoric rise continued when he transferred to Manchester United in 2004 for a record fee. Under legendary coach Sir Alex Ferguson, Rooney collected an astonishing haul of trophies, including five Premier League titles, one Champion League crown, one FA Cup, and three League Cups. Individually, he earned every conceivable accolade, including the PFA Players Player of the Year and FWA Footballer of the Year awards in 2010. Rooney remains Manchester United's all-time top goal scorer, having netted 253 goals during 13 successful seasons. Rooney also shown for England becoming the youngest player to represent the national team at just 17. He later broke Sir Bobby Charlton's long-standing England goal-scoring record, finishing with 53 goals from 119 cap. In August 2017, Rooney announced his retirement from international football as both England and Manchester United's record marksman. Now, let us first take a look at Wayne's childhood home in Liverpool that really shows his rags to riches story. He grew up in the notorious Croxteth area, which unfortunately was known for crime and poverty. Wayne lived here with his parents and brothers in a modest terrace house on a council estate. Even after he signed his first contract with Everton at just 17, Wayne remained proud of his working class roots. He said, you can live in a big house and drive a nice car, but I am from here and it is in me. It just shows you can achieve great things no matter where you start out in life. Clearly this humble house never held Wayne back from soccer stardom. This modest three bedroom council house is where Wayne Rooney spent his early years, living with parents Jeanette and Thomas and his two brothers. Despite moving to grander homes after finding fame and fortune, Rooney remains proud of his working class Liverpool roots. And Wayne's wife Colleen also came from a similar background. She grew up close to her future husband in West Derby, Liverpool. Her childhood home was a small brick terrace house too. Like Wayne, she never forgot where she came from, even though today she lives a very different lifestyle. Now fast forward to 2004 when Wayne became a rising star at Manchester United. He and Colleen bought their first home together in Formby Merseyside for $900,000. The property was located on Millionaire's Row and had six spacious bedrooms, a big upgrade from their childhood. Other famous soccer stars have lived on the street too, like Steven Gerrard and Ergen Klopp. So Wayne was really moving on up in the world with his lavish first home with Colleen. He bought this mansion in an upscale area of Merseyside back in 2004, shortly after his big money transfer to Manchester United. This substantial property provided an initial taste of the lavish lifestyle to come. Next, we head across the pond to Florida, where the Rooney family bought a vacation condo in 2007 for $320,000. The waterfront apartment was in Port Charlotte and had three bedrooms and over 1,750 square feet of space. It featured a master suite, home gym, and they had access to a resort style pool. The perfect Florida getaway pad for the young couple. Unfortunately, they bought it right before the recession hit. So properties in the area dropped significantly. Oops, well, still, it was a sign of their growing wealth. The couple purchased this holiday home in Port Charlotte in 2007. The 
three bed condo boasted its own pool, gym, arena access as well. But they likely lost some money due to that recession. Now let's check out Wayne and Colleen's next family home in Cheshire, England. In 2006, they spent $2.6 million on land in the affluent town of Prestbury. They then constructed a custom built mansion here with six huge ensuite bedrooms, a home theater, swimming pool with pink walls, and more. But some of the flashy renovations irked their new neighbors who complained it was destroying the character of the area. One called it horrendous with fake pillars and marble bathrooms. I guess you can't please everyone. Either way, the young couple lived in this large pad for over a decade before selling it for nearly $5 million in 2019. After custom building this dream six bedroom home, the Roonies lived in the English countryside manor for over a decade. At least when they sold it, it sold at a major profit. Now on to Barbados. In 2010, Wayne and Colleen added a Caribbean jewel to their property crown, a $5 million Barbados vacation rental. This spot's located in the exclusive Royal Westmoreland estate, where many celebrities own homes. The lavish villa has five bedrooms, an infinity pool, and incredible ocean views. And it can be rented for over $25,000 a week. So the Roonies are definitely profiting from this paradise property. Guests even get complimentary golf and a buggy to drive around the resort. One of Rooney's most stunning investments has definitely gotta be this property and not to mention he's making money off of it from wealthy vacationers. No wonder Wayne loves to spend time in Barbados and soak up the island lifestyle. In 2017, Wayne and Colleen bought a 40 acre plot of rural land in Cheshire and now it's worth $20 million. This would become the site of their dream mansion dubbed High Lake Manor. Construction started but was delayed due to COVID, but by 2021 their custom built palace, it was finally complete. The lavish country estate has a reported price tag of nearly $20 million as mentioned. It spans a whopping six bedrooms, all with en suites, a home gym with indoor pool, movie theater, wine cellar, everything you could imagine. There's also two man-made fishing lakes, stables for 14 horses, and even an underground tunnel to a six-car garage. But despite all the luxury features, some people have mocked the exterior for looking like a grocery store chain thanks to its big block shape. Well, guess he can't please them all. Currently, their family residence is this newly constructed 40-acre estate, and it allows the Roonies a peaceful life while still being close to Manchester. Either way, it's clear Wayne and Colleen have come a long way from their humble childhood homes. Their sprawling mansion and property portfolio reflect their incredible wealth today. With an estimated 115 million pound net worth, there's no doubt Wayne and Colleen Rooney are now far removed from their humble Northwest England upbringing. Their property portfolio reflects their phenomenal success, especially Wayne's on-field accomplishments and lucrative playing contracts. But Rooney has stayed connected with his working class background. After a brief managerial stint with Derby County, he's returned to the United States to coach DC United, one of his former clubs. As Wayne embarks on this next chapter, he can feel proud of his immense impact on English football. And with a young family to raise, he can provide Colleen and their four sons with homes worthy of the comfortable lifestyle. To wrap up this episode, answer this question for me. What was your favorite property that Wayne and Colleen have owned over the years? There's quite a few to choose from, so let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!